Pretty good. What's going on everybody? I'm Jake the Lawn Kid. Welcome back to yet another two minute lawn tip. Today I want to talk to you guys about something very common and that is going to be brown spots in your lawn. I get a lot of questions. A lot of people are like, Jake, I have a ton of different types of brown spots in my lawn. Where do they come from? What can I do about it? That's going to be today. So oftentimes when you see a brown spot in the lawn, it's often confused with fungus, right? When you think of brown spot, you probably think you have dollar spot in the lawn showing up in irregular spots, but it's probably more than just a fungus. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See these two brown spots right here? I don't really think anything of this. As a matter of fact, I had one of these in the front yard too, and I thought maybe it was an area where I got a little too heavy with my green punch application and burned it out. But I came to the side of the house later that day, saw this spot and like four or five others to follow. Another one right there, two right there, two right there, another pair right here. And then if you come over here into my neighbor's yard, really, really bad right here, right? A lot of brown spots, but if you pay attention and you look closely, you'll notice that the pattern is literally exactly the same for all of them. So what has been done here, Jake, to cause these brown spots? The other night, I actually had to drive my lawn tractor back here to remove all of my granite edging that I had on my landscape beds because we're getting some cobblestone and stuff in there. So I needed to get all that old edging out. And one thing I did in the process is I had my tractor parked here on the side of the house with my cart on the back of it you know in a couple of different areas in the lawn and of course during that time while I was moving the bricks I let the engine run a little bit longer than I probably should have and I think the muffler on the front of the mower radiated a little bit of heat onto the lawn areas here where I had it parked for pro prolonged periods and just burnt those areas to crisp. No fungus, no random dead spots, literally just brown spots from my stupidity if you will from leaving my tractor on the lawn for too long so yeah, just goes to show if you have brown spots in your lawn, it's very important to be a detective, be observant, and figure out where they might have been coming from, from things that you've been doing differently compared to what's done regularly. So with that being said, how do you get rid of brown spots in the lawn? Well, again, assuming that you probably screwed up like me, and you've done something that randomly put brown spots in the lawn, like I said with my tractor over there. The one thing I would recommend, if you see a brown spot from that, just let it be, right? Just let it be, I promise over time it will recover. That's the beauty and the power of grass, right? It's grass, it grows on the side of the highway with no one's help, so I promise over time they will recover. Now, if you're someone who doesn't like looking at the brown spots, or maybe you don't have a whole lot of patience, like I don't, right? I'm very impatient when, when things like this happen in my lawn because it just doesn't look good. One thing you could do is surgically remove these areas with a shovel or a sod cutter like you see me doing here, and then take another area of turf, like let's say maybe you're cutting out your landscape beds, take another cut of turf from this area and transplant it into the problem area. And doing that will pretty much work just fine. Now you wanna make sure they're in the same composition so that the habitat for that grass is not changing too much. But it's a really, really good quick fix that's been being done for quite some time. And I'm telling you, if you do it right over time, it's going to pay off and it's going to look good. All right, so when you're thinking about physically cutting out an area of your lawn, it's not that hard to do. Again, take a sod cutter, cut the old area out, and then take the new area that you'll cut out from another location on site, again, making sure it's similar in composition. For instance, if this area is getting part sun, part shade, you wanna take it from another area in the lawn that's getting that same part sun, part shade, so maybe somewhere a little further. And then what you wanna do before you put the sod down is you wanna make sure that you go ahead and loosen the ground up. I typically like to do that with a, a pitchfork here. And the reason we recommend that, especially if you have clay, is because clay has a tendency to get super hard and you know shape into whatever's going on underneath. So one thing we could do to kind of help that, again, is to poke some holes in the soil, loosen it up, work it up a little bit. So then that will help with the rooting process that's going to happen with these guys here. Now as an added bonus, if you would like to go ahead and hit them with some goodies, which I highly recommend you do if you're not considering it, um, my good friends over at Green County Fertilizer have a fun cocktail called the Dry Spot Healer, which is six ounces of RGS and nine ounces of Humic 12. Put those in your hose end sprayer, backpack sprayer, whatever you got, and just hose these areas down and paint them black. And as I always like to say, just paint them black 
and don't look back. If you do that, I promise you, you're going to have prospering results in no time. There you go, guys. That's your two-minute lawn tip for the week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about it. And if you have any additional questions, leave those down below, and I'll try to get back to those as soon as I can. So, yeah, with that, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I got a lot of leveling I got to do over here. I got a lot of dirt I got to smooth out as I got, I literally got company coming in an hour. So yeah, I got to get all that dirt spread out and ready to go for a special guest. So yeah, with that, I'm Jake the Long Kid. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. If I don't see you guys next time, your lawn is going to be dominated. See you later. Hey, what's going on everybody? Just wanted to stop for a second. Just wanted to break back in for a second and just apologize for a couple of things. Number one, going over the time limit. I know this is called two minute lawn tips, but I do have a tendency to go over sometimes because you know I'm passionate what I'm talking about. I tend to go a little much in depth, tend to spend a little too much time on a particular subject, but in the end, I think it's worth it because there's some topics that we talk about here that I believe need to expand that two minute time frame. As a matter of fact, when you think about it, the name of this series is really more of a phrase if you think about it right two minute lawn tips is really just a way of saying hey this is a way that jake is going to get more straight to the point lawn care tips out to you guys but in the process they don't always end up being two minutes so i hope you guys will understand that and second i want to apologize for being a little slow on camera there i was really tired i was actually out the night before moving all that dirt that i showed you guys on the side of my house i believe i mentioned it here i had a special guest come over that this day and help me with my landscaping um, help primp it up a little bit, make it look good. That's a video that's going to be coming very, very soon. As a matter of fact, I'm trying to get it out this weekend. So that'll be coming. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that. A lot of fun there. Now, real quick, I want to go ahead and preface a little bit more on the brown spots that I was talking about in this video. So one of the biggest things that I told you guys is that if you're seeing brown spots in your lawn, don't just immediately think that it's a fungus or it's a dead spot from something that's going on around your lawn, right? I want you to be observant right look at what's being done on your lawn in a day-to-day -day basis that might have potentially caused those brown spots my tractor was a great example of that and to take this even further I've noticed a lot of brown spots this time of the year especially with a lot of people who are opening their pools redoing their pools all sorts of stuff they leave all sorts of material laying all over the lawn waiting for garbage pickup and then literally after a couple of days of having your old pool liner or whatever or your pool cover laying on your lawn you'll take it off and you'll notice that that area is pretty much burnt up and brown so it's really just all about knowing the history of what's been done to your lawn and oftentimes one of the biggest things is leaving large objects on your lawns for long period of times doing that will burn the turf temporarily that's right temporarily so nothing to worry about and I promise you over time if you don't want to do anything to it it will eventually recover so no problems there so that's it guys, I'm done for real. I'm gonna go ahead and get off here. Gotta get to work, got some more mowing I gotta go do this week, so yeah, all sorts of fun. I'll see you guys in the next video. If I don't see you guys in the next video, once again, your lawn is gonna be dominated. See you later. Got a little bit on the edge, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and take a, a roll from the landscape. You notice I did this spot too. Had a little dead area right there. I gotta water that, no big deal. Um, What else? Oh yeah, that one's out, that one's out. Now I'm gonna take a couple fresh pieces and put them there. But first, I'm gonna go ahead and give them a mix of goodies. You know, just drench the soil here, and then that'll do it.